Now, how to do the cross net? I see many club players practicing forehand cross net, backhand cross net. But in my view, most of them practice the way which is very difficult way to hit it accurately, safely. Let me show you the common way of doing cross net first. Ready? Okay. The first one is doing pronation way of a cross net. They start from like that and then turns it like that with the shuttlecock. Yeah, ready? Like that. To me, this is so far too big. It looks like I'm telling him I am going to hit over there like that. So opponent can see it. And number two problem, the action is too big for where shuttle is traveling. Do not need this much action to hit the shuttlecock from here to there. The second mistake, some players, they chop it. They chop. One more. The problem, number one, when they chop it, shuttle goes up. And because it's chopped, sliced, shuttle goes slowly. So two, two problems. So that is a common problem. What is the way I would like to see players doing? Look, hitting shuttlecock from here to there, the player do not need power at all. This is more control. So I would like you to imagine the snooker table. Do you know the snooker? There is ball, there is a, a table. There is ball is uh, moving. Just imagine the ball is hitting. This is the wall of the snooker table. Ball is coming and hitting the wall and change the direction. The wall is not moving, staying there. And the ball hit the wall and goes. The player should do this way. Let me show you what I mean by that. Kind of a stop. Let's say shuttle is there. Okay, this is the way it should be done. You ready? Shuttle is coming, then your racket from here directly go to the shuttlecock straight away. And then oh, hit. One more. Ready? Go. Hit. Number one way. If I try to do the pronation way of hitting, then I have to go here and then I have to do that. I'm giving him too much time to prepare. Number two, the chopping way. I go here, I have to go here, and then chop. Same. Little bit shorter than the first one, but still too long and make the shuttle fly slow. But if I move my racket here to straight to the shuttlecock and hit, this is the fastest way and most deceptive way to hit the shuttlecock to cross side. And furthermore, when you practice this way of hitting, you can do many other things later when you get better. So do that, you go and hit. Do that, you go hit. So watch this. It should be 
using here, this area. There, there, there. The wrist should not moving. Make shuttle wobbly, too, too rough. It should be fixed and hit like that. Like this. There. Compare. That's more than enough to hit the shuttlecock there from here. No need bigger action. It just make poor shot, make shuttle goes wider, longer, and make errors. And most importantly, it is not deceptive either. Now, backhand. Okay, number one, pronation way. Little bit slowly. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling everybody, I'm, I'm doing that over there. You ready for there. It looks like that. Or some other players like it forehand. Eh? Chop. Make a shuttle very slow and shorter because it's chopped. Now, same idea. You ready? Shuttle comes, you go here to there. Ready? Go. Just a little power, little, very tiny bit. Tiny bit. There. There. Like a, your racket is the wall, and the sunuko ball is hitting the wall and go. Feel that way. And then later. So important thing is, if you learn a way, the better way, more beneficial and advanced way, then you can use the same way and still be able to do many other shots. Rather than cross net like that, lift like that, and every shot becomes all different way then it's not deceptive and opponent can see it quicker and there's much more chance to make errors. So remember, your racket is the wall. Let shuttle hit and go rather than using your wrist too much when you are doing the cross net.